Introducing first, in the corner to my left, from San Diego, California, the Blazing Betty, Mia For the final time, Rich Palladino introduces Keith Lee to this beyond crowd. And while everyone's in a joyous mood right now, Keith Lee may not be by the end of this match, Hot Sauce Tracy Williams. That's right, he's still got a fight in front of him. It's not quite just a going away party. This no. is, he, he's got his work cut out for him, as does Mia Yim. And this while is the crowd, be an absolute barn burner. And while the crowd does enjoy to sing Bask in my glory. It's not going to be a sing-along here tonight. As Mia Yim has a chance to send Keith Lee packing and make a bigger name for herself. Because what better way on such a huge platform? I mean, beyond wrestling, how many subscribers on YouTube? 525,000, I, I lost believe. Count. Yeah, I lost count. So this is a huge, huge platform. There's going to be a lot of eyeballs on not only YouTube, but of course here on Powerbomb TV. And it's going to be a great opportunity for Mia Yim to make a big statement. Go around. Yeah, she's got the right idea there. You don't want to stand toe to toe with somebody that outweighs you and outpowers you by that much. And Keith Lee in the best condition I think I've ever seen him in as he's heading on his journey. I interviewed him earlier today Ooh. for PW Insider. I said, where are you going? He said, I'm just going to take some time off and see where life takes me. So wherever he may that's, end yeah, up. Yeah, that's fair enough. I mean, I hear Florida's nice this time of year, but wherever he ends up. Keith going to the ropes. I mean, hey, it's there. If it's there, why not, why not take it? We're still in the early goings of this contest. And then how big would it be for Mia Yim to put Keith Lee away? Send him back in with a loss in his last match in Beyond Wrestling. It what would, kind of course would that set her on here? It would catapult her to maybe even make a claim that, hey, I'm the ace of Beyond Wrestling. Right. Because if you can beat a guy like Keith Lee, it is massive for your career. And then maybe she moves on to some other high-profile matches. Wheeler Yuta, Matt Riddle, Joey Janela, David Starr. All matches Starr. I would love to see. Yeah. As Mia Yim wow. sent to the top rope. One arm, Keith Lee just powered her up there. Yeah, you don't want to take your eyes off her. Went for the Huracan Rana, but Keith Lee. I mean, that's so much weight to take over like right. that. He just simply caught her and put her back on the top. Like a, like a kid putting a toy away on the top shelf here. Oh boy. Well, I never had a toy that did that to me as a kid. As he, uh, excuse me, Mia tries to take the arm off of Keith Lee. Yeah, that toy would be recalled in an instant. Yes. As Mia Yim continuing to go for the arm bar, maybe transition into something else. Well, but she's off her feet, though. This is dangerous for her as well. Still trying to extend that arm fully out. And Lee's just curling her. Curling her whole body. Oh, that but was smart. She has smart. it down. Keith Lee almost had that arm straightened on him. That was very smart. She read the timing of him trying to power out, and she rolled that momentum down. I rolled him over with the armbar. Nice combination, but Keith Lee catches the neck Ooh. and goes straight to the floor. And now Mia Yim may be seeing an opportunity here. Nice drop kick. Yeah, catches Keith Lee coming in. Uh-oh, she could be looking to fly here, right on top of him. And again, like a toy. And Mia Yim, even she's kind of, even she kind of smiled oh, no, at that. Not for long, not for long. Oof. 
Oh, huge penalty kick that's from a, Mia Yim. That's a thud right there. Beautiful execution. And now nails the Horicon Rana on that hardwood nice. floor. That's another thud, and that is Keith Lee. All 300-something pounds while making contact with the hardwood floor. And Mia Yim doing the right thing here, rolling in. It's smart. You're either going to get a count out or you're going to get a little bit time, a little bit of time to collect yourself, put your strategy together, and maybe catch him coming in like she did the last time. Because even though Keith Lee is down, he's a little rattled at the moment. It's not going to last long. It usually never does with him. Yeah. That, that kick she gave him off the apron could have winded him. That's the kind of sound you want to hear on a kick. That was a thud. That was the air leaving the... Massive body of Keith Lee. Look at the fire here, that ground and pound, forcing Keith Lee to throw Mia Yim off. Huge ground and pound from Mia Yim. She heads back into the corner with a nice running mafia kick. And another. Good placement. Maybe trifecta here to put him down. Oh! oh! And instead, she goes up and then comes down. Huge. Huge body block from I mean, Keith Lee. Keith Lee did that with one step out of the corner. That was all the momentum he needed. Just one step. It just launched her. Launched Mia Yim all the way across the ring. Right back where she came from. And this Worcester crowd singing along. Maybe one more time. As Keith Lee here in his final appearance for Beyond Wrestling at All Day. Asking Mia Yim why she hits so hard. Well, it's because she has to if she wants to survive. Keith Lee, former PWG world champion. Recently taking on Minoru Suzuki in Ireland a couple of weeks ago. So he's been in there with some really, really, really tough people. That's a big club that Huge. Mia Yim just felt. And that affords him the time to take a breath, relax, because sometimes, as you know, hot sauce, you can just kind of get ahead of yourself. And that's when mistakes happen. Oh, yeah. And Lee's a veteran, so he, he knows when to take his time and when to collect his thoughts. And he's used to moving around all that weight. And he moves it around better than pretty much anybody that size. Oh, boy. Goes for that double chop. Mia Yim out of the way, throwing some chops of her own and a forearm. Again, going to the chest. Yeah, right to the heart. Got the leg. Oh, no. Whoa, nice. Mia Yim able to roll into a knee bar. Sean Capture style, right into that knee bar. Keith Lee, lucky that yeah, he was, wow. ha lucky that he had the ropes right there. Lucky that he's like six foot five. Right. Up to oh, his feet, oh. off balance, but now maybe operating on one leg here as Yim saw the bullseye and she's Whoa. going right after it. Whoa, is she going to try a Saito <laughs> suplex perhaps? She's trying to cut out the middleman and just take him right off his feet herself. Oh. oh, that left hand. And forget about a Saito suplex, how about a left hand? And that's where the, the height advantage is going to come into play as well, because you saw Mia Yim swinging those strikes to the chest of Keith Lee, because that's where she's going to get the most power, is striking straight through. Just so happens his chest is there, but he has that downward angle where he can come with those overhand elbows right to the head. Those concussive blows that will just put your opponent down. Whereas Mia Yim has to fight up from underneath to get those same strikes. Keith Lee... Again, There's another one. with that left hand straight to the jaw of Mia Yim. And how she's not unconscious, I'll never know, because that was brutal. And, oh! And like that toy I mentioned earlier, Keith Lee, like an angry little kid, just tosses just her. Throwing it in the bin. And now... Yim's trying to tag out to the crowd. She's saying, I need a break. I need now, a minute. She's gone to the apron, so referee's going to try to get her back in the ring. But I don't blame her after getting launched into the atmosphere like that and then coming, plummeting down to earth. 
Paul which Crockett is, alongside Hot Sauce Tracy Williams here in our main event. Keith Lee saying farewell to beyond with a big avalanche splash in the corner on Mia Yim here at Beyond Wrestling all day. And now, now the chops may be coming. No. And another forearm. She throws them better than anyone. And another chop. Oh, she's connecting well. Third. Misses, oh, anticipating what Lee was going to do. Another forearm trying to pick away. Gets pushed out. Drop nice. toe hold into the corner, and now Lee's off his feet. She's baiting Lee in nicely here. Somersault using all of her body weight. Going for it again. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. We can see from our angle, Lee got that left arm wrapped around her, and with that one arm, he just stood up with Mia Yim in his grasp. Oh, no, she's got to slip out. Oh, oh, sunset flip. She could still get a pinning combination here, but no, she's not going to be able to make it work from there. Wow. He just pulled her right to her feet. Oh, big tilt a world DDT counter from the Blasian Batty. She's got to cover. cover. And this Worcester crowd appreciative of that counter from Mia Yim as she's still in the fight. And now she has to do her best to pick away at Keith Lee because as we see, it's not just one simple move that's going to put him away. Mia Yim teeing off with these kicks. Some of the better kicks in professional wrestling too. But Keith Lee instantly neutralizing. Oh and dropping her to the floor with a brutal left. Ooh, that could have been it right there. <laughs> I'm actually very surprised that wasn't it because she hit the mat like a ton of bricks. I was holding my breath on that. And Keith Lee surprised at this reaction. This is supposed to be his sw swan song, excuse me, his farewell. And now this crowd getting behind Mia Yim. Just goes to show you, she's been putting on a hell of a performance here. And now Mia Yim fighting back. Ducks the left hand. Mia Yim firing back, misses with the right. Now caught her leg. Oh. Misses the Larry, wow. nice high kick. Oh! Man. Brutal clothesline from Keith Lee. The high kick connected, too. You could see it. Just ricochet right. right off the side of his head. And Keith Lee's so exhausted at this point that he can't even make the cover. Yeah, he's, I think he's feeling the, the, the effects of that kick as well. Between competing in 100-degree heat last night against one of his best friends in an emotional battle, now add the high kick to that, and he's, he's rattled. Not rattled enough to talk to this crowd, a beyond wrestling staple. A lot of interaction, the most interactive wrestling on the planet. That's right, you're looking For good at reason. It. Oh boy. Going for it, trying to connect with that German. If she hit that, it could have been over. Trying again, Whoa, maybe Saido! Cover! No! Wow. That took a lot to get that bridge, too. To even connect, but you're right, the extra effort for the bridge was unbelievable. That Mia Yim, that, that, she had to expend a lot of energy on that, like we said, and now the fight rolls on. Wow. Here we go again. Going for that German she couldn't connect with earlier. She's trying to throw him from a dead stop, though. Yeah, very tough position. Oh, oh, double slap. That's known to drop many, many people. Going for the spirit bomb. Oh, boom. 
comes down, and that is it. An unbelievable ending to the career of Keith Lee and Beyond Wrestling. It is academic. No! Whoa. What? I think, I think Lee basked in his own glory for a couple seconds too long right there. Unbelievable. Unbelievable drive and determination from Mia Yim kicking out of that spirit bomb that has finished off so many people. And now, maybe going to go out with style here in Beyond Wrestling. Yeah, that, I think Lee's betting on the fact that that kick out was the last energy that Mia Yim had. Maybe moonsault on his mind. And if he hits this, it would be an unbelievable ending to his career here. Oh, oh my God! Oh, crushed! Oh! Mia Yim kicked out of a spirit bomb and a moonsault from Keith Lee. And he landed on her face. Is she human? He crushed her face, that's insane. Well, whether or not she's human, this is an inhuman performance for Mia Yim. I cannot believe she is still alive. She's dressed like a superhero and she's living up to it. That was unbelievable. And she is still on the mat shaking her head no, somehow still having some fight left in her. The only question becomes now, what depths will Keith Lee go to finish this off? There's that left. I think, mean, what, what is he gonna, that moonsault's like the ace up his sleeve. That's like the trump card, that's it, that's done. The only thing I can think is last night at Solid Gold against Jerome oh, Daniels, yeah. he went jackhammer from the top. Are we going to see lightning strike oh twice? God. No, the, Mia the, Yim fights out of it. Yeah, the striking of Mia Yim. Headbutt. How's she doing any of this? It has to be instinct and adrenaline because I can't think of any other way that she is oh still goodness. fighting. Oh my goodness. Oh no, she's thinking super Yoshi tonic. Oh my God. Here we go. No. Oh no. Oh my God, no. His leg is shaking, but somehow holding on to control. And she got it. She nailed it. If she can make that cover, this is over. But she lost so much energy even trying to do that. She can't She's make the cover. Here it is. Ah. Keith Lee somehow with a kick out. And regardless of which way this goes, Hot Sauce, this has been unbelievable. Absolutely, both competitors putting on a superhuman level of effort and level of fight here. Double underhook. What does she have in mind? Keith Lee, uh -oh. Fireman's oh, Carry. No. Ground zero, no. No. Oh, victory roll. Victory roll. She got she him. Got him. did it! Unbelievable. She took the beating of a lifetime and not only came out alive, she came out smelling like roses, hot sauce. Wow. Lee is done in Beyond Wrestling, wow. his final performance against Mia Yim, and Mia Yim pulls off maybe the most impressive victory in the history of this promotion. Unbelievable, bask in that Beyond Wrestling.
And Lee showing the respect. She got him. Keith Lee knows that despite the fact he didn't come out on the winning end, this is what Beyond Wrestling is all about. Competition and allowing the next generation to get their chance. And not only did she get her chance, she took it. Absolutely incredible. What an incredible night of action.